Hello and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, maghimo ko or gagawa. I get confused now what what which language, which dialect yung gagamitin ko. Pero for this video, I think Tagalog is the most appropriate na um, language na gagamitin ko. Kasi in the past few months, yung mga video na mas pinapanood nyo sa channel ko is about the candle making videos. So I thought of creating or gumawa ng um, candle making essentials for beginners. I will be sharing with you yung mga ginagamit ko or um, yung mga candle making equipment, tools or ingredients na kailangan nyo para makapagsimula na gumawa ng sarili nyong scented candle. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Una nyong kailangan is ang melting pot. Ito yung, tinata ito yung melting, not a melting pot, it's actually a melting pitcher. Meron siyang ganito, para siyang pitcher, but it is for melting. Normally, wax yung minimelt dito. Um, I got this from Shopee lang, and I think, I believe this is 1.5 liter na melting pot. Um, I uh, I have been using yung double boiler method sa pag melt ng wax, wherein nagpapa boil ka ng tubig, and then you put it sa pot na may boiling water, and then your wax melts. So, kailangan mo to. And it's Pwede ka rin gumamit ng, um, I see people na ginagamit nila yung parang, um, it's also another type of pot pa rin na um, kung wala kang ganitong picture kasi medyo, you know, pasadya mo talaga siyang bibilhin for candle making. So you can make use of that. You parang, you can even use the one na sa rice cooker. Pero mas mahirap lang siya kasi wala siyang handle. And you would find it difficult to dispense the product kung walang ganitong parang sprout. So, this is number one. And then, sunod naman, I think you need, well, at least I need a spatula. Ginagam silicone dito and then wooden handle. Pero actually, kahit anong pang stir, okay na po. Okay na po. It just so happened that when I was shopping for my candle supplies, I saw and I think it was cute. So, I'm like, okay, I gotta have that. Pero, hindi naman pala. Pwedeng normal na steering device or your kachara will do pang stir lang naman ito ng wax while you're melting it and or yung when you're mixing na your fragrance oil and the wax so that's that your steering device and next one kailangan na kailangan po ito sa candle making this is a digital thermometer now it doesn't have to be digital you can use the pwede yung mga um, kitchen thermometer na parang an hindi yun siya analog um, di ko alam tawag doon, pero yung basta hindi siya digital. Is that analog? Analog siguro. Um, because yung wax po natin, um, especially for soy wax, may um, tinatawag siya na melting point. So, eto yun, dito natin ginigage yung melting point ng wax at saka also yung pouring temperature. May mga um, ganun kasing pangyayari. So, and that is very important para ma-achieve yung um, bango, yung cold throw and the hot throw that we want sa ating, um, yun nga, yung candle natin. So, kailangan natin siyang measure yung temperature. So, this is a must. Um, second, or wait, pang-apat na pala, is a kitchen scale. So, kailangan ng kitchen scale because um, kailangan mo ding measure how much wax you're gonna melt for how many vessels you have and how much fragrance oil you're gonna mix with your wax. So, kailangan talaga yun. Hindi siya kasi it doesn't work like the more fragrance oil that you put, the um, the better the throw or the scent throw is. Hindi po ganun. So, meron pong mga calculations and also, it all depends kasi din sa type of wax that you're using. There's, there's a lot of um, materials in the internet where you can read, pero sa simpleng <laughs> in simple terms kailangan ng scale para ma ma proportion ma proportion ng maigi yung um, amount of wax and amount of fragrance oil sa gagawin yung candle na ba I think na makukuha naman ko kahit saan um, even sa the grocery store I think they have kitchen scales and this is less than 500 pesos lang po so ito yung ginagamit ko 
maximum of 2 kilograms lang yung na-measure niya. Kasi I don't, with the scale that of my production, hindi naman po ako nagluluto ng mas malaki pa sa um, 2 kilograms. Saka yung picture ko, it's only 1.5. So normally, yung per batch ko is 1 kilogram lang. Um, yeah, so that's that. Kailangan mo rin, of course, sa ingredients, no? Kailangan natin ng soy wax. This is the um, last pouch of soy wax na meron ako. This is from Raw Materials Philippines. Nakuha ko to sa Shopee. And I always go back to that shop to get my um, soy wax and also my fragrance oil. Sometimes I also get from Raw Essentials PH. But I am looking for other shops na is uh, selling soy wax and fragrance oils kasi gusto kong mag-experiment pa ng more brands of fragrance oils because I'm only starting this hobby of mine and I am really in love with it like I cannot even explain it uh, yeah speaking of fragrance oil this or these are the top two of my favorite fragrance oils um, eto nakuha ko siya from Raw Essentials PH this smells like milk tea <laughs> this is in the scent French Vanilla um, so, Raw Essentials PH po. It comes in a lot of uh, scents. They, parang ganito na um, holder, ganitong container, pero ang dami daming scent. So, my favorite is French Vanilla and Cucumber Melon, as I have mentioned in my previous video. So, these scents are the bomb. And I also have here from Raw Materials, ayun, Raw Materials PH. This is in the scent Coffee. So for um, candle making, po, we need to make sure that we are using fragrance oils at hindi po essential oils. I will try to explain that to you in another video, pero make sure that you are using a fragrance oil, not an essential oil. Okay? Now that, okay, that's done. Yung ano naman yung lalagyan ng candle. You can use any type of glass vessel or even ceramic vessel, basta hindi siya madaling mag. mag Uminit at um, suitable siya for candle making. So I have this. Uh, this is a 3.5, I think. No. Hmm. 3 ounce jar, I think. Um, I got from Chefs and Bakers. It's a local shop that we have here. And dito sa loob, na wick ko na siya. This is what you call the wick. Uh, this is a cotton wick. So ito yung sisindihan mo. And it will, you know, start the fire and then melt your wax with that fire with that heat generated from the fire galing sa wick na ito. And then, um, I used a wick sticker para, ito yung, ito siya. This is all I have left actually. Para idikit yung um, wick, ito. Yeah, para dumikit siya here sa gitna. You can use a double, double side tape naman. Pwede din yun. Pero for me, it's just a little bit challenging and difficult. So I opted to get your the wick stickers. Um, so when you're pouring na your your soy wax, um, actually it's difficult to keep this centered. So we have what we call the wick centering device. Hindi ko alam kung meron pang ibang tawag dito, but um, I remember a video calling this like a wick wick, wick centering device. So kanyan lang siya, lagay mo lang siyan, and then until the wax is hardened, pwede mo na, saka mo pa siya kukunin. So it Nag nagiging centered at least upright and centered yung wick natin. Speaking of wicks, um, apart sa mga normal, normal, usual wick na nakikita natin sa mga candles, meron din pong tinatawag na um, wood wicks. They actually, they look like this. They are wood strips. And um, this one, these wicks are my personal favorite because they give you that crackling sound. Yung parang nagbabonfire ka. And, um, kapartner po ng woodwick is a sustainer. It looks like this. How do you focus? Di ko alam. Ano mag-focus? Focus. It's not focusing. <laughs> Ayan. Ito yung tinatawag na sustainer. Wick sustainer. So, what you do is, okay, difficult. Challenging kasi ang haba ng koko ko, but this is normally how it's done. Ganun. Yun po. And then you stick it to uh, bottom ng jar mo. Again, using a wick. Uh, what's this? Wick sticker. 
So, lagay mo din yung wig sticker and then itusok mo siya. With wood wigs, di mo na kailangan ng um, wig centering device kasi on its, hindi na siya gumagalaw because of the sustain, this sustainer thing that we have here. Um, okay, ano pa? I think that's about it. Yun lang yata. Yun lang. Wala na. Yun lang yung mga kailangan natin para magsimula magsimula at makagawa na ng um, sarili, sarili nating candles. I do really prefer and recommend using soy wax because it is made of soybean. Therefore, it is environmental friendly and also it's non-carcinogenic. It will not um, cause you any cancer or whatnot. Yung mga ganang -ganang stuff. Yeah, so I hope that this video was helpful to you. Although, konti lang yung Tagalog ko kasi nahihirapan ako mag-Tagalog. Ulit-ulit ko yung sinasabi kasi it's really true. Hindi rin ako masyadong magaling naman talaga sa English. But, mm, mas nakaka-express ako ng self ko sa English. Pero hayaan nyo po at ako talaga yung mag-aaral. At um, sasanayin kong sarili kong magsalita ng Tagalog so I can um, communicate with you better um that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you next time so i think next candle making supply video thank you guys for watching enjoy your um candle making sessions bye